There's more Sky News. Its collapse would have been a catastrophe and the damage would have been ginormous. That the genuine reaction from Sir Philip Green speaking to Sky News after his retail empire was saved in a last-minute deal. Creditors narrowly agreed to a restructuring plan which will reduce the rent that the owner of Topshop, Dorothy Perkins and Burton's has to pay to its landlords. Our business correspondent Adam Parsons reports. Sir Philip Green is a man who's never shied away from conflict. Today he faced a big battle for the survival of his Arcadia retail empire. The company, which includes Topshop, Burton and Dorothy Perkins, proposed a financial rescue plan known as a CVA that would see Sir Philip inject money, but only if landlords agreed to cut rents. After fraught talks, the plan passed. Sir Philip told me... Our supply chain goes all over the world and the knock-on damage if this hadn't gone through would have been ginormous. It is good to know there's still support out there for the business, for my family and for me. There is no way in the world I wanted it to end up in a catastrophe. From a personal point of view, even if you score in the 95th minute, a win is still a win. But this was a hard-fought win, a sign of the strain in British retail. Well, I think the way in which retail has changed over the last few years has impacted everybody. And what this also shows is that actually retailers have got to work very hard and fundamentally change their business models in order to adapt. And where retailers and property owners, their landlords, are partners. So they're going to have to work together to reimagine and reinvent a vibrant retail business, but also our high streets and the shops that are along them. One of the biggest landlords is the property giant Into. It opposed this deal and remains angry. The company said the agreement was unfair and on its other tenants. Relief then for 18,000 members of staff as well as suppliers and loyal customers of the Arcadia brands. But this process has shown the effects of our changing shopping habits as well as the growing tension between our biggest retailers and their landlords. And that tension is important. Oliver Buhus is a supplier to Arcadia. He says landlords acted in a reckless, selfish manner. There was no sentiment that they, landlords wanted to explore options per se, to, as, as I've mentioned, to look at working together for in the near future. It was a case of, well, what happens to us today? What happens to us tomorrow? Not what, not what happens to Arcadia and the landlords. It was what's happening to us. And ultimately, the fate of Arcadia is on a second place. You need to leave. You're not understanding. These are turbulent times for Sir Philip. He's been charged with assault in America, an allegation he denies. His retail empire faces many challenges. But today, in one of his biggest battles, he won. To use his own word, he avoided catastrophe. Adam Parsons, Sky News, 